hello and welcome to next selenium tutorial so uh, today we are going to discuss about the differences between explicit weight and implicit uh, uh, weight so this is one of the most asked interview question you can see um, the moment you enter interview so a few questions they will ask about the weights and the difference between implicit weight and explicit weight so today we are going to discuss about this in detail uh, so pay attention on this so the moment you uh, think about weight in selenium so we'll have different uh, weights so one is uh, implicit weight and second one is explicit weight the third one is plain weight so we have uh, discussed all these three weights in detail in my in our previous videos so if you have not watched those videos please watch out uh, so to get basic uh, idea on those different weights so what are those weights and when to use it and when to avoid all those uh, concepts we have discussed in those uh, uh, videos right so if you watch those videos you will get some fair idea on what is implicit weight and explicit weight so the first difference is like so implicit weight is a global weight and explicit weight is a it's not a global weight it's kind of a, a particular web element uh, based on the web element it will be it's not like applied with all the web elements right let's see the difference actually so this is the one uh, selenium program for facebook um, login page mm. yeah, here we can uh, see uh, three uh, different elements let's remove this right so here we will see three different elements so we have defined our uh, web driver over here with chrome driver so the moment you uh, initialize your uh, driver and assigning your implicitly weight with some uh, seconds or milliseconds with the timeout so this five seconds will be applied for all these uh, web element until this browse this driver is closed right so here we have um, defined only three different uh, web elements so if in if, if in case this driver is handling thousands of web elements then for those all thousands of web elements this five seconds will be applied right so it doesn't mean that it has to wait for five seconds for each and every element that it handles right so that's where uh, that next uh, next uh, difference will come into picture so before that let's understand explicit weight also so explicit weight is not like our implicit weight so explicit weight we have to use only when uh, there is any need that a special element needs more uh, wait time so in that case we have to go for uh, explicit weight so here we we can give the condition uh, exactly what needs to be uh, verified and how we have to handle that how long we have to wait everything right so this is the basic difference actually right so the, the second thing is dynamic weight so here uh, if you see uh, in implicit weight we have defined uh, five seconds uh, but this is not the ideal time it may go for 20 seconds as well so it doesn't mean that each element right so we here we have defined uh, three different uh, web element so it doesn't mean that it has to wait for 20 seconds for this element to find on this element to find and find navigate to next element right so here uh, we have given implicitly weight as 20 seconds uh, this 20 seconds is not necessary for this particular web element the moment this driver finds this particular web element it will do the send keys i mean typing this uh, text and it will move forward immediately to this particular web element it, which means so if it finds in one second right so in one second only it will find and it will do the user user interaction and it will move to uh, next statement so what will happen to this remaining 19 seconds right so what will happen in that case right so this will be elapsed so nothing will happen with this this will be lapsed or ignored this will be ignored this 90 seconds will be ignored and it will move forward to your next statement right so the same statement goes for your uh, explicit explicit weight as well so here we if we define 20 seconds right the moment it finds this visibility of located element by this x path so if it finds in the uh, first three seconds right so defend is 20 but if it finds in the three seconds we have remaining 20, 17 seconds here also this 17, 17 seconds will be ignored so it will not wait until the complete 20 seconds will be uh, lapsed right so so it's a it's kind of a dynamic way the moment it finds it will move forward to other next statement 
will not wait until it uh, uh, 20 seconds will get over and blocking time it's not a kind of a blocking time it, if the element is not fine then it will wait until there's 20 seconds but if it found the moment the element is uh, returning true then it will move move to next action right so that's why these explicit and implicit weights are dynamic weight and so the polling uh, next one is polling so what is this polling right so we have given over here the 20 seconds so these 20 seconds what will happen if it applies to this particular web element right so we have for implicit uh, weight to 500 milliseconds as a default polling time so what will happen the every 500 milliseconds this implicit weight will pull to your DOM whether this element is find or not present or not present or not every 500 milliseconds it will find so for 20 seconds we have uh, 500 milliseconds means it will pull for 40 times to your DOM right so 40 times it will pull to your uh, DOM and it will check whether it is present or not present or not right so the same goes for explicit weight as well so here also this explicit uh, weight has uh, 500 milliseconds as a default uh, um, a default time to poll so in that case what will happen right every 500 milliseconds it will poll until this blocking time is gets over if the element is not present in the present in your DOM, right so that is what this uh, polling time will come into picture so default weight is like zero uh, which means uh, if you have not defined your implicit weight or your explicit weight so in this case what happens we have not defined at all so what happens implicit weight will take zero seconds and uh, your explicit explicit weight as well it takes only zero seconds so there is no uh, harm in that if you are defining your uh, implicit or explicit weight anything is fine the default time is zero the last one is like uh, uh, this implicit weight if it is not found your uh, this web element within the time frame that we have given 20 seconds then this particular uh, statement will throw no such element exception but if you go for your uh, explicit weight what will happen within these 20 seconds this element is not found because of no such element exception so this will throw timeout exception right so initially it will be like ignoring your uh, no such element exception so this until condition will handle that if you, have not, if you have not watched my video for explicit way, you can watch it. I have explained what exactly this means, right? So, so every time it will uh, throw no such element exception if it is not found within 20 seconds. Every 500 millisecond, it will throw that exception. So finally, what will happen and uh, this 20 seconds lap, um, completely blocking time is over, then it will throw timeout exception. So this is the two different exceptions that implicit weight and explicit weight will throw when it comes to your uh, uh, script execution right so these are the major uh, differences between implicit weight and explicit weight and apart from these we have one more uh, major uh, difference that is that this is where we have to understand your explicit weight and implicit weight so right so let's uh, uh, try one one thing uh, so this is your uh, local uh, script where you, you are writing your JavaScript like this. Uh, this is this is a blocking where Eclipse, and uh, this is where your web driver uh, that executes your script on actual browsers, right? This is the exe file mm, that explain uh, that uh, explains your uh, right running your uh, way. Uh, just one, guys. Uh, sorry so this is the, the dot, dot exe file uh, that it is throwing that so executing actual your what are the instruction you are passing from your eclipse so here the exe file will be actually uh, on the actual browsers it will execute so this is how that uh, actual framework will work if you are not familiar with your uh, web driver architecture you can watch out my uh, youtube channel for web driver architecture so you will, you will get some fair idea so what will happen right uh, so here all exe files will be there so that exe file means uh, this is kind of a this is chrome driver dot exe file this this is going to be a uh, firefox and this is going to be a ie driver so this is kind of a dot exe file that we can consider 
so what will happen right guys this is from eclipse to your dot exe file it will come and the exe file what will happen it will, in the actual browser it will execute this is going to be actual browser actual browser so here we will be uh, sending implicit weight this is going to be a implicit weight so what will happen this implicit weight will work remotely on this dot exe file which means if you are giving uh, like 20 seconds as a wait time for each element if it's not found what will happen is this exe file will check on your actual browsers which means every 500 milliseconds so this will check on the dom of your uh, browser in case of your implicit weight and it will communicate with your .exe file web driver so every 500 milliseconds it will throw and it pull and it will return the value so what will happen in that case it will throw no such element exception and this will handle it perfectly fine no issue in that right so this is how this remotely this implicit weight will work so the moment it returns true that means uh, the element is found then the control will uh, given back to your uh, script and the next statement will start executing it right so that is what in implicitly what we have done so this is this for this particular find element this will happen the moment it found the true then this next action will be taken uh, take, uh, carry forward so that is what will happen so until this statement what will happen right uh, so this this chrome driver dot exe file will continuously pull to your dom and it will communicate with the dot exe file this will continue until your max time that you have given 20 seconds with 500 milliseconds of uh, pulling time right so this is happening in the remote remote driver this is called remote driver right so this is happens in the remote driver right the remote drive this is in case of your implicit weight but in case if it is comes to your explicit weight so what happens right in that case so the all the scripts are there in your local itself right so this until method what will happen every 500 milliseconds what will happen it will give uh, it will give the instruction to your chrome driver so this chrome driver will uh, pull to your dom so the dom will again uh, reply with whether it's uh, found or not true or false if it is a true then it will return as a true if it is false it will return as a false so if this method is receiving false then it will check whether this timeout is elapsed or not so if it is not got over again this until method will call this particular web driver again it will pull to dom again it comes so it this cycle will continue until this complete 20 seconds will will get over if it is not found the element right until it returns this dom returns false right so the moment this dom or returns true then this chrome driver will uh, pass on to the same to your local script so that is what uh, here this explicit will uh, wait will happen so this explicit will wait ha uh, uh, wait will happen locally but uh, your uh, implicit wait will happen a remote driver so this is the major uh, difference between implicit and explicit weight so implicit weight weight, uh, weight will happen remote level but explicit weight well, weight will happen your locally in your script right so this is the one of the major uh, difference that you can see and one more thing is like uh, if you go to your uh, weights in your uh, selenium documentation right they have given the warning so do not mix implicit and explicit weights doing so what will happen right can cause unpredictable wait times even they are not sure what will happen so if you mix something that unpredictable wait times can happen what will happen right in that cases if you are running thousands of test cases it will leads to a lot of uh, time wastage right so it leads to if you are uh, uh, scheduled your job in jenkins so if you are expecting eight hours but it took 16 hours which means you you are not handle your implicit and explicit weight properly so that is the case will happen in this case right so that is the next difference and the another difference is the syntax so here it is a very simple uh, syntax that you can find out over here this driver dot manage so in this manage interface we have timeouts interface so this timeouts has this implicitly weight method but if you go to your explicit weight so explicit weight has web driver weight class itself separately so that is what this selenium is handling so this is the complete uh, two uh, two line um, 
uh, syntax for explicit weight you can find out so these are the different major advantages that you can find uh, uh, using uh, your implicit and explicit weight in selenium so as far as my knowledge these are the uh, major uh, differences between these two weights from my experience if you have any doubts or clarification please leave it in the comments i will reply to your uh, uh, questions or clarifications but if you know any apart from these points please leave it in the comments right thanks for watching guys please like my video and share it with your colleagues and friends and if you are not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching guys